He said, we've been arguing the marriage hasn't been good. And I said, how long has the marriage not been good? And you talked about all the material things that he had gotten you. You have to work for the things you want. You have to sacrifice for the things you want. He doesn't want to have kids with you because he doesn't think you're quite up to the job. He doesn't think that the marriage is a stable and a good one. He's beginning to see that as the money wears down, your love is wearing out. Family, this was a real interesting case in which a woman was ready to divorce her husband because he had seen behavior she had shown throughout the marriage and he was reluctant to have a child with her. And the reason he was reluctant to have a child with her apparently was because he spoiled her during the relationship and I guess he had fallen on some financial hard times. And the second that happened, she began to give him nothing but an ass to kiss. And when she demanded a child, he was reluctant to do so. You gotta understand, marriage is hard and raising children is difficult as well. And it's hard enough for men and women just to be able to be in collaboration rather than conflict. But when you bring another life into that situation, you wanna know that you're dealing with a grown up, and the man must have felt differently. Contrary to popular belief, more than half the men out these streets don't have a child at all. And when they think of the idea of becoming a father, the most imperative thing to them is that they are dealing with a woman that they think is gonna be a good mother. And don't get me wrong, I like the fact that they were married because in this day and age, we got a lot more baby mamas than wives. And I believe that to have a family, marriage should be a prerequisite to having children. And men that have any kind of self-worth or have something going for themselves, they are looking for a woman, not just with a peach and a fat booty, they're looking for a woman who is going to be a good mother and a good wife. And if you can't do those two things together, they're not going to give you their seed anymore. Men are getting smarter now. And they've seen other men suffer, going to family court, having their children taken from them, getting limited access to their children, having their children used as pawns to make them suffer. And they're not having it no more. And at the end of the day, the real testament of kind of partner you have, whether it be a man or a woman, is how they treat you when things aren't all going smooth, when the money isn't coming in the way it used to, when they can't take you on the trips that they might have been able to take you on previously or do the little extras for you. Are you still going to stand in and be supportive and loving and nurturing and caring? Are you still going to be respectful to that man? Or are you going to give him your ass to kiss? Are you going to cuss him out? You're going to tell him, I want this, that. Is it going to be my way or the highway? All or nothing type attitude. And men are paying attention to these things now because they know at the end of the day, the man has the most to lose. He will lose his children. He will lose his finances. He will lose his home. All to try to make you happy. So the question I would ask women is in order to be the best mother, and the best wife you can be, you obviously are going to have to be able to bring more than just a peach and a fat butt and a smile. So what, if anything, do you think you can contribute to a marriage and the upbringing of a child in collaboration with a man outside of just your body? And what is it that you think he should bring to you?